Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton, and I want to take a little bit of time in this devotion to read from Romans chapter 6. Now in an earlier devotion, we had talked to you about how that uh, when you come to Christ, the sin nature is no longer your default position, but righteousness is. Now, sadly, as a believer, we have sinned many times. We, we don't have to do it. We don't want to do it. But sometimes we do sin. But the point of this is, it's not my default setting. What does that mean? It means that my, my, my default setting, my first reaction to sin as a Christian is righteousness. No, I don't, I don't want to do that. That is unrighteous. It's sin. Okay, and here's where that power comes from. We'll find it in Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Verse 1, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? In other words, Paul was saying, should I keep sinning to get me more grace? And of course, the answer is God forbid in verse 2. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Uh, know, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in newness of life. Now, we're going to stop right there. We're going to read verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man, that old man, that sin nature was the default setting, is crucified with Christ that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, for he that is dead is freed from sin. Now let's go over to verse 11. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. There it is. Righteousness is the way of the true child of God. Righteousness is now the default setting that you and I operate by and live our lives pleasing to the Lord. Now, can you choose to sin? Of course. Do you want to sin? A real believer? Probably not. Sometimes we make choices that are poor choices, bad choices, because of the pressures of the flesh, the pressures of the enemy, the pressure of the world. And then if any man sin, the scripture says, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, who is the perpetuation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for that of the whole world. And so there is a remedy for the believer's sin, and that remedy is the sacrifice, Jesus Christ and him crucified. And the way that we avoid those snares and traps of the devil is by reckoning all of this to be true. When Jesus died upon the cross, because I put my faith in him, I died there with him. When Jesus was buried in the grave, my old man, my old default sin nature, was buried in there with him. When Jesus rose from the dead by faith, I rose to newness of life. And as we reckon that to be true, we find a new power source for living. We're no longer motivated and we're no longer powered by the old sin nature and gratification of self, but we become powered by the Holy Spirit and powered by righteousness and we can live a life that is pleasing to the Lord. So never forget the remedy for all of life, really. Not just sin, but when you're, when you're sick and need healing, when you're broke and need finances, when you're having struggles and issues in your life, the remedy is the offering and the sacrifice, Jesus Christ and him crucified. Paul said, we preach Christ crucified. And there's a reason for that, because as we die to self, we see the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ coming up through our life, giving glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what being a Christian is all about. So this is Brother Paxton from Coatmish, Michigan, saying go with God and he will go with you. Bless you.